So, Sandy, Aftermath, Day 31, I believe. Cleanup continues. Look, there's a calendar. A calendar. It still says October. <laughs> that's, that's when uh, time ceased here. It was October 29th uh, when Sandy struck. So, um, work continues. You want to see what I've been throwing out today? You want to see, hey, another day of collectibles being thrown out. Let's, uh, if you're a Star Wars fan, Star Trek fan, Doctor Who fan, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fan, we got it covered. We're throwing it out. Everything must go. Mold has taken over. So well, this is uh, what I'm unearthing today. Um, I think you've seen some of this before, at least the side of the box. So now I was able to pry it out from that lower shelf. Unfortunately, it was on a lower shelf in, um, that I was storing it on. Look, a B-Wing fight. I even forgot I had this. So, um, yeah, this is all waterlogged. Waterlogged, it's all soaking wet. It's got torn. And, oh, pan over here, we got the original land speeder in its original box yeah and um mr spock uh oh oh look at this we got the battles of galactica mattel electronic game um space alert 1978 waterlogged oh and look at this radio controlled r2d2 um didn't the, you know it moves backwards forwards left and right but it didn't say anything about swimming yeah. Oh, what else do we have here? Um, this is... <laughs> the box is torn, but it's a Star Wars arcade game uh, for the Atari home computer. And what do we have here? Oh, look at this. We have the R2-D2 original um, model kit by MPC. Um, they didn't say anything about mold being on the box, but now it comes equipped with mold. But don't panic. That's right, don't panic. The Hitchhiker's Guide Infocon game. Yeah, waterlogged as well. Well, don't. <laughs> we can just pop that up here to the Return of the Jedi pop up book if we do a pop up here. It won't be popping up anytime soon. And the five doctors agree. Yeah. So, um, more lovely stuff um, destroyed. Here we go over here. Uh, Battle of Hoth. Soggy Hoth. Yeah. And um, look in the bag here. All right. So, um,. Lovely collectibles going in the garbage. Mm, Star Wars cookies. What's in here? Wanted, dead or alive. Oh, you see Doctor Who here. All sticky. Oh, that looks like John Pertwee in there. Oh, wanted, dead or alive. By order of Gallifrey, the Doctor. It's all a soggy mess. Alright, well. Oh, this is a Star Wars poster. A one sheet. Atari Disk Drive. Well, many of you know that I'm a podcaster, and it all began <laughs> somewhere. You want to see how it all began? Hold on. I think in this trash bag has the origins of podcasting in here. Yes, my origins of podcasting can be found in this garbage bag. Are those the cassettes? No, that has, has nothing to do with it. This um, This black thing here, right here. Yes, oh, what a lovely smell I discovered. It's, um, <laughs> it's like my first audio cassette recorder. Remember these things? Um, yeah. Waterlogged now. This is how it all began. I started recording with this thing. I did shows no one heard back then <laughs> uh, as a youngling. And it just continued. Here, here's something I forgot all about this. Electronic sound effects machine. Cool. Yeah, that was cool at the time. Um, you can see where that spaceship was sort of inspired from. But, yeah. Well, further back in time, command communications console, Star Trek, all falling apart, waterlogged. What, what was this, 1975? 1974? Uh, here's another Star Trek um, collectible. Predates all the Star Wars stuff that I have, even the Doctor Who stuff. Waterlogged. As I recall, you could use these to communicate with the walkie-talkies. They had the Star Trek communicator walkie-talkies, which I had as well. You can see this guy has one. I had that. And this um, console machine as well. So um, it was really, really cool at the time. It predates the iPhone <laughs> by uh, 35 years or whatever. What's in my trash? What's in your trash? Is it as interesting? But I have more interesting trash than you do.
well, if you're a sci-fi fan at least, and uh, somewhere around my age, um, yeah, well, what are you going to do? It's destroyed, I can't undestroy it. Um, original boxes as well. Thank you, Sandy. Highly illogical that I would have mold growing on my chest. Not logical at all. Uh, video games, uh, waterlogged. So, normally I would invite you in, but um, without one of these, I probably wouldn't. And, well, you know, you're probably safe for the time being. It's just long-term exposure you have to worry about. So, you got to make sure you apply this on correctly. Shape this to fit your nose. And if you've got a nose like me, <laughs> it's important. And, um, and be safe. I, I, I was told today that I'd be, should be wearing something on my head, too, but I don't have anything. I don't have, like, a... Well, I guess you really should be wearing a bunny suit, you know, those white lab suits, those things that cover you all. Glasses, goggles, and all. But, um, make do with what I have. Usually got gloves on as well, but for the iPhone, to operate the iPhone, I have to take them off. So that, uh, wraps up my entry for day 31. 31, right? Yeah. Of Hurricane Sunday, Sandy. Um, some, um, exploring my trash, yes. Uh, at least this has some sort of visual records of what I had because, or you know, once before it goes out to the curb or whatever. So um, I hope your trash is less interesting.